Yeah, I mean, tech, it looks like the seller stopped them. I'd like, I'm trying to get people to understand the way trading works. And what, the way trading works is we have these very big firms, and they let's say they switch and say, we have too much tech. Well, you can't just unload tech anymore. What happens is there's a great dislocation because uh, firms don't principle like they used to. I had Lloyd Blank find on last, and he said, listen, yeah. there's, there is an issue of intent. You can't just go buy all the stock from someone. A regulator might find that your, your intent is to profit from that, when the reality is, is that you're, all you're trying to do is what's known as positioning in order to make it so that you can then find buyers. So someone, you, you can't position anymore. So what, you, it's very dicey to position because the regulators might say, what are you doing? Uh, so instead, these guys come in and they blow out a stock. The buyers know they're blowing out, so the buyers walk away, uh, which is a shame. They should be in there buying. You see it, you, you've got to have courage to buy the dip. That's one of the reasons why people think, wow, you know, a dip. Well, it's just such a, uh, such a ridiculous way to do things. Well, it has to do with the notion that that's the point of most pain. Because the big sellers come in, you don't know when the seller's done, so you have to buy on that dip. The seller's clearly finished, and then once the seller's finished, whoosh, right back up. That has been the pattern now for many years. It looks like to be the pattern again.